Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you another trick if you have a Mac computer. Uh, I've already did a demo video on this sort of, of how to hide the waveforms in Scratch Live, because I know a lot of people uh, want to be able to hide the waveforms, uh, particularly the beat match waveform, because, you know, a lot of people think that's uh, cheating or whatever. Um, you know, that's a topic for another discussion, but uh, I'm going to show you another interesting way on how to hide the waveforms in Scratch Live. Uh, this isn't actually my idea. Someone posted this on the Scratch Live forum, uh, DJ Penguin. So uh, this was his posting, and it was his idea. So I'm not taking any credit for it. I'm just uh, uh, showing you how to do it because I do think it's a rather interesting uh, way to hide the waveforms in Scratch Live. Uh, so anyways, go into your Applications folder, and you should have this program called Stickies, uh, which is basically just a virtual Post-it note that uh, comes up on your computer screen. Now you can use this box to hide the waveform uh, in Scratch Live. Basically, we're just going to cover it up. I've actually seen DJs actually use real post-it notes or a piece of paper or a towel or something. They put it on their computer screen to actually hide the waveforms. Um, but you can use this virtual sticky note uh, instead. So open stickies, and then you should see uh, the post-it note sticky right there on the screen. Um, and you can type whatever in if you want, or leave it blank. Uh, probably going to want to change the color so go to the top and uh, we'll pick gray since that's uh, closely related to the scratch live colors uh, you're also going to want to go to note and put on floating window this will make sure it stays on top of all of the windows so now let's uh, open up scratch live and I already have some songs loaded to a deck uh, basically all you have to do now is just move it around and resize it to your liking and then you can cover up the waveforms like that and you know that's basically it so now um click the screen let me uh, full screen it oh, move it around again i mean yeah so now basically there you go you can't see the waveforms anymore let's play these tracks in internal mode and you can't see the waveforms obviously anymore so uh, you won't be tempted to look at it uh and to you know cheat quote 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 unquote um you, but if you want to see the waveform, you just want to cover up the beat match waveform, you can resize it to whatever. And, you know, cover it up just like that. So, I mean, there you go. Now you can't see the beat match waveform anymore in Scratch Live. So, you won't be tempted to cheat. Um, also, um, this is good if you want to, you know, type little notes or whatever. If someone comes up to you through a request and, you know, you know a lot of people are... It's 2 a.m. in the club, you're kind of tipsy from drinking and you can't remember everything. So, you can just jot down... You know, little notes or whatever for requests or anything really. So, I mean, yeah, but, you know, that's basically it. A little simple trick to hide the waveform in Scratch Live without actually uh, zooming in like I showed in my other video. Going like that or down here in the track listing area. So, I mean, yeah, so there you go. Just use the Stickies program on the Mac to cover up the waveforms in Scratch Live. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some type of PC equivalent program uh, for um, virtual post-it sticky notes so uh, I'm sure there's something out there for your PC users but uh, if you're on a Mac you already got it built in in your applications folder 